Hello everyone. Uh, today we will study about uh, the motion part of the chapter time and motion. We will study about differentiating between speed and average speed. Describe motion which is uniform and non-uniform. So we have studied all this. I hope you must have done the activities as well. So and we have we have done the question answers. So we will study about motion now. The movement of an object is called motion. For example, all the human beings and animals can move from one place to another without any external help. So what is motion? Kisi bhi object ka movement ko hum motion bolte hai. And for example, jase sub human beings ya animals एक जगह से दूसरी जगह पर किसी एक्सटर्नल हेल्प के बिना मूव कर लेते हैं तो उसे हम मोशन बोलते हैं ऑल द प्लांट्स कैन नॉट मूव यू नो प्लांट्स जहाँ पे प्लांटेड होते हैं वो वहां से मूव नहीं कर सकते हाउ एवर एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमन बींग्स कैन देर आर सम प्लांट्स दैट दे कैन मूव इन दर बॉडी पार्ट सच एज लीव ब्रांचेज एंड फ्लावर्स कुछ प्लांट्स होते हैं जो जिनके सर्टेन बॉडी पार्ट्स कैन मूव जैसे उनके लीव्स मूव कर सकते हैं या उनके ब्रांचेस मूव कर सकते हैं या उनके फ्लावर्स मूव कर सकते हैं नॉट दे दम सेल्स कैन मूव एंड वेन आई से लीव्स ब्रांचेस एंड फ्लावर्स दीज आर नॉट हवा से मूव करना वॉलेंट्री मूवमेंट विदाउट एक्सटर्नल हेल्प मूवमेंट को हम मोशन बोलते हैं Non living things such as bike, car, bus and train cannot move on their own. Like bike, car, bus, ये खुद से नहीं move करते हैं इन्हें move करने के लिए कोई external force या external help चाहिए होती है human being, fuel and then mechanism. They require an external force to move. उनको चलने के लिए external force चाहिए होती है कोई भी body is said to be in motion. if it changes its position with respect to time and surroundings koi bhi body is said to be in motion only jab ye apni position uh, time ke correspondence mein surroundings ke sath move karti hai like suppose you are at one place aap ek jagah se 10 kadam aage chal pade to aapki position change ho gayi aur time bhi change ho gaya so this process is called motion for example flying birds a moving car blades of fan spinning of earth on its axis jaise aapke uh flying birds ho gaye ya koi car move kar rahi hai to ek place se dusri jagah pe wo chali gayi hai in certain time ya fir earth jo apne axis pe rotate kar raha hai all that is called motion we come across different types of motion around us the hands of a clock move in a circular path and shows both circular as well as periodic motion so aapki jo clock ke hands hote hain they move in a circular direction or a circular path and a periodic motion bhi hai we have read about the periodic motion already falling stone एक जो पत्थर ऊपर से नीचे गिरता है या आप प्रोजेक्टाइल में थ्रो करोगे तो दैट विल शो रेक्टिलीनियर मोशन फुटबॉल प्लेज ऑन द फील्ड शोज द रैंडम मोशन जो फुटबॉल फील्ड पे लोग खेलते हैं उसका मोशन कैसे होता है रैंडम मोशन होता है कोई पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन वो फॉलो नहीं करते एज पर पीपल खेक इट इट विल गो इन द डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन इन ऑल ऑफ दीज वी ऑब्जर्व द बॉडीज आर अंडर मोशन एक बारी मोशन में सेट करने के बाद ये सारी बॉडीज क्या होती है मोशन में कंसिडर होती है एन ऑब्जेक्ट में अपियर टू बी मूविंग टू वन पर्सन एंड द सेम ऑब्जेक्ट में अपियर टू बी एट रेस्ट टू अनदर पर्सन सो एक ऑब्जेक्ट जो है वो एक पर्सन को मूविंग uh, फॉर्म में अपियर हो सकती है या फिर रेस्ट फॉर्म में अपियर हो सकती है 
to me i can look at an object and tell okay this object is in motion or this object is in rest so suppose a car move kar rahi hai aur sare jo रोड साइड ऑब्जेक्ट्स होते हैं हमें कैसे दिखाई देते हैं कि वो पीछे की तरफ जा रहे हैं और जो गाड़ी में सपोज आई एम सिटिंग और मेरे साथ कोई और भी गाड़ी में बैठा है तो दैट पर्सन विल अपीयर टू बी इन रेस्ट बट एक्चुअली क्या है हम लोग गाड़ी के साथ मोशन में हैं द स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट एंड मोशन आर ओनली रेलेटिव सो ये जो रेस्ट और मोशन की स्टेट है ये रेलेटिव है so the state of rest and motion are only relative they are not uh, they are relative i mean even though i'm sitting in a car i'm moving to you i might look as if i'm moving because you are at rest but to me someone sitting with me in car appears to be in rest even though that person could be in the moving state as per you so kya hai ye relative hai when a object is not changing its position with respect to its surroundings jab koi body apni position change nahi kar rahi hoti hai with respect to its surroundings what it is called it is called to be at rest for example fans are fixed on the ceiling blackboards are fixed in our classroom and vehicles are parked in the parking area so Uh, जब कोई पोजीशन चेंज नहीं कर रहा है तो वो रेस्ट पर होता है लाइक like, जो पंखे लगे हुए हैं तो वो सीलिंग पर ही रहता है ब्लैक बोर्ड आपका क्लास में फिक्स पोजीशन में है जो आपके पार्किंग लॉट में व्हीकल्स होते हैं इवन दे आर इन द फिक्स्ड पोजीशन सो दिस इज हाउ मोशन एंड रेस्ट वर्क एंड दे आर रिलेटिव रिमेम्बर दैट स्पीड consider uh, now we'll study about speed uh, consider a boy walking to school he requires 10 minutes to cover a distance of 500 meters let's assume there is a boy he has to go to school and he needs 10 minutes to reach school and the distance between his house and his school is 500 meters so distance kitna cover karna hai usne 500 meters टाइम कितना लिया उसने टेन मिनट्स ओके अब लेट्स कंसीडर अनदर बॉय हु रीच इज स्कूल बाय बस जो दूसरा बच्चा है ही इज आल्सो टेकिंग टेन मिनट्स बट द डिस्टेंस ट्रैवल इन दिस केस इज फोर किलोमीटर्स नाउ दिस बॉय हु रीच इज स्कूल बाय बस इज ट्रैवलिंग बाय बाय बस बट ही इज ट्रैवलिंग और डिस्टेंस ऑफ फोर किलोमीटर ही इज टेकिंग टेन मिनट्स टाइम अगेन although time taken by both the boys to reach school is same the distance they are traveling is different the first boy is traveling 500 meters the second boy is traveling 4 kilometers <clears throat> so <clears throat> the boy reaching the school so the boy reaching the school is um by foot is moving slow as compared to the boy moving fast So, जिसने डिस्टेंस ज्यादा कवर किया ही इज मूविंग फास्ट जिसने डिस्टेंस कम कवर किया ही इज स्लो बिकॉज टाइम टेकन हियर इज सेम हैंस कंपेरिजन ऑन कंपेयरिंग दीज टू बॉडीज इन मोशन जब हम इन दोनों बॉयज को कंपेयर करेंगे द वन इज फास्ट एंड द अदर वन इज स्लो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द टाइम टेकन फॉर द सेम डिस्टेंस तो हम कैसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे सेम डिस्टेंस के लिए उन्हें कितना टाइम लगेगा उसके अकॉर्डिंग हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट द स्पीड ऑफ बोथ द बॉयज इज स्पीड का फॉर्मूला इज डिस्टेंस बाय टाइम सो दैट्स व्हाट इट सेज वी कैन कैलकुलेट द स्पीड ऑफ बॉडी बाय डिवाइडिंग द टोटल डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय द बॉय एंड द टाइम टेकिंग बाय द बॉय फॉर द सेम सो Uh, distance divided by time is speed so speed is defined as the distance covered by a body in unit time so how is speed defined it is the distance covered by a body in a unit time the unit of speed is meters per second meters is distance is unit time uh, second is time is unit so meter per second or kilometer per hour is the unit of time so speed 
is equal to distance covered by the body divided by time taken, which is equal to distance by time meters per second. To ascertain the speed of a moving vehicle, the speedometer is installed in front part of the vehicle. So you must have seen it in your cars, bikes, scooters. A speedometer is located in which your speed is shown, right? So that is speed monitor करने के लिए या speed देखने के लिए लगे हुए होते हैं. To ascertain the distance travelled by vehicle, an odometer is fitted along with the speedometer. So ये distance cover करने के लिए आपके vehicles में एक और एक एक number change होता हुआ speedometer के अंदर एक reading होती है जो आपका बताता है कि आपका vehicle कितना distance cover कर लिया है, right? So you have speedometer and odometer fitted in your bikes, scooters, cars, right? So that will tell you how much uh, distance has your vehicle covered so far. So let's uh, take some examples and, and, and let's try to uh, find the speed of these objects. So if an athlete takes 50 seconds to complete a race of 200 meter, find a speed. Straightforward, athlete takes how much time? 50 seconds to complete a race of 200 meters. We read what's the speed's formula? Distance divided by time and meters per second. Meters, seconds, distance is 200 meters divided by 50 would be four meters per second. Let's take another example. A bus covered a distance of 480 kilometers in eight hours and a train covered a distance of 1200 kilometers in 10 hours which one is traveling faster to know which one is traveling faster we should know the speed of both bus and the train and then we will be able to find whoever has more speed is faster so let's find the speed for bus first so bus traveled how much kilometer 480 kilometer what was the time taken eight hours so speed would be 480 kilometers divided by eight hours comes out to be 60 kilometers per hour. Now, similarly for train, the distance covered is 1200 kilometers and the, the time taken was 10 hours. What is the speed of the train? 1200 divided by 10 is 120 kilometers per hour. Now, speed of bus is 60 kilometers per hour. Speed of train is 120 kilometers per hour, which is more? train speed so who should be faster train is faster so train travels faster than the bus a moving car or a bus can travel at a higher speed when there is no traffic and slow down when there is heavy traffic and due to traffic signal so what happens a moving car ya moving bus jo hoti hai, that can travel at a higher speed when there is no traffic and when there is no traffic, hota, it can move at a higher speed. Obviously, there is no hurdle. You don't have to stop. Speed doesn't go down. You don't have to make your speed zero to stop. So you can speed, uh, travel at a faster or a higher speed. But you also have to slow down where there is heavy traffic and due to traffic signals. Obviously, because of the traffic signals, you'll have to stop. You'll have to bring your speed to zero. When there is heavy traffic, you have to drive really, really slow. I mean, at the low speed. So, when we speed calculate karte hai, we do not use the, act, uh, the speed speed concept. We use this concept of average speed. Because if you reach school from home, suppose in bus, then your bus does not go constant speed pe chalta because of traffic. It sometimes uh, runs slower. If the road is empty, it runs faster. If there is signal, it will stop. So, if you see there is high speed, low speed, zero speed, but the distance covered is is constant and there is a time that is taken is constant as well so what you can do is you will be able to calculate the average speed here okay and the total distance covered by total time taken would comprise of your average speed yeah so the unit for expressing speed of slow moving object is meter per second and for fast moving objects such as car or bus or airplane, airplane is kilometer per hour. So, if you slow moving objects, hoti hai, jase aap ho, ya fir, uh, uh, aap ho, ya fir, uh, 
छोटी छोटी जो ऑब्जेक्ट्स होती हैं धीरे चलती हैं उनका हम यूनिट क्या कंसिडर करते हैं मीटर्स पर सेकेंड बट जो ऑब्जेक्ट्स फास्ट मूव करते हैं लाइक कार बस एयरप्लेन देखते हो ना स्पीडोमीटर में बीस किलोमीटर पर आवर में आपका स्पीड uh, शो करता है सो so, ये यूनिट्स इंटर कन्वर्टेबल होते हैं ऑब्वियसली किलोमीटर कंप्राइज ऑफ थाउजेंड मीटर्स एंड आवर कंसिस्ट ऑफ सिक्सटीन टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स सो यू विल बी एबल टू कन्वर्ट दैम इन टू मीटर पर सेकेंड सो वन मीटर पर सेकेंड इज एटीन बाई फाइव किलोमीटर्स पर आवर एंड वन किलोमीटर पर आवर इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई एटीन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड विल बी एबल टू कन्वर्ट इट it's easy if you want to break down how it happens is uh you can simply do 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 simple maths k means 1000 1000 meters and hour ko if you break in seconds it will be uh, 60 minutes into 60 seconds so 1000 divided by 60 into 60 uh, so 1 km per hour is equal to 1000 divided by 16 into 60 when you Simplify it; it will come out to be five by eighteen meters per second, and a uh, meter per second would be reverse of the same. It will come here; it will be eighteen by five. So you just remember this, these units, okay? So now, oh, uh, let's do another example. Uh, Reshma reaches her college in one hour and fifteen minutes from home by driving her car at fifty kilometers per hour. So how much time does she take? One hour fifteen minutes. and uh, what's her speed 50 km per hour what is the distance so it will not always be the questions to 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 calculate the speed you may be asked to calculate uh, the distance you may be asked to calculate the time so it's derived from the formula anyway so so time taken is how many hours 1 hour 15 minutes so you cannot take 1 hour 15 minutes right because either you have to take it in hours or you have to take it in seconds so we'll have to convert the time into hours first so or or minutes first so 1 hour comprises of 60 minutes and 15 minutes comprises of uh 15 minutes so 1 hour 15 minute means 75 minutes right and speed of a car is 50 kilometers per hour what is the speed of the car it's 50 kilometers per hour now 75 minutes is equal to 1.25 hours 15 minutes is 1/4 of an hour 1 hour 1.25 is the time and the speed of our car is 50 kilometers per hour now just put it in the formula uh time uh, speed is equal to distance by time that means distance is equal to time into speed what is the time 1.25 hours what is the speed is 50 kilometers per hour you multiply both the things and the distance would be 62.5 kilometers make sure the uh, uh, unit of speed here is kilometers per hour and the time you took is also in hours that is only when you can do it you cannot take time in second and speed in kilometers per hour no the unit has to be same to be able to solve these problems okay now let's understand the concept of uniform motion Uh, when a body moving in straight line path covers equal distance in equal interval of time is called uniform motion now suppose you travel or any object travels 50 meters of distance and in 2 seconds it covered first 10 meters in next 2 seconds it took next 10 meters in next 2 minutes 2 uh, seconds it took next 10 meters similarly like 5 tenths in every 2 second now what is happening 10 meters is being covered in 2 seconds the time is constant the distance is constant that is when we call it uniform motion few examples would be hands of clock so hands of clock always go in uniform motion it cannot slow down fast enough like a car on road it cannot do that right a pendulum or a clock like these things move in a uniform motion distance time graph for uniform motion let's also study the distance time graph for uniform motion it will be a straight line now we'll understand why when a car moves in a straight line path the distance is traveled travels increases with time so jab aapki koi car straight line path mein move karti hai to jaise jaise time badhta hai waise waise distance badhta hai 
obviously because you keep mo- keep moving forward from your home you're going somewhere straight and as time passes and you are applying the speed your distance will keep increasing correct so the reading on the odometer shows that it covers distance of 5 km in every 10 minutes jo aapka odometer hai wo har five wo har plus 5 ho jata hai after every 10 minutes so hum isko graph pe plot karenge just look at the table which is available here so aapki odometer ki reading suppose it was 600 when time was zero when you started so distance traveled kitna hua 5 km now टाइम हो गया टेन मिनट्स आपका ओडोमीटर का रीडिंग कितना हो गया सिक्स जीरो फाइव डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल कितना हो गया फाइव ट्वेंटी टेन मिनट्स और पास हुए सिक्स हंड्रेड टेन हो गया रीडिंग ओडोमीटर का अगेन फाइव किलोमीटर्स यू ट्रेवल सिमिलरली इन एवरी टेन मिनट्स यू आर कवरिंग फाइव 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 तो आपका ओडोमीटर का रीडिंग स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम सिक्स हंड्रेड बट यू ट्रेवलिंग फाइव किलोमीटर एवरी टाइम सो लास्ट रीडिंग वुड बी वॉट इट वुड बी 625 according to this graph okay so you we, what we'll do is we'll take a paper perpendicular lines us pe draw karenge put time on x axis put distance on y axis and usme equal uh, hum uh, separations bana denge 5 uh, kilometers ke liye every 5 kilometers and y axis pe hum 10 minutes ka ek interval ka equal टाइम बना देंगे टाइम ऑन एक्स एक्सेस डिस्टेंस ऑन वाई एक्सेस अभी हम सेम प्लॉट यहाँ पे सेम ग्राफ हम प्लॉट करेंगे स्टार्टेड विथ सिक्स हंड्रेड वेन टाइम वज जीरो वेन टाइम वज टेन मिनट्स द डिस्टेंस वज सिक्स जीरो फाइव वेन टाइम वज ट्वेंटी टू सिक्स हंड्रेड टेन थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन फोर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव जॉइन दीज डॉट यूल गेट अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके सो Uniform speed me. What do we get? Straight line, as we understood earlier, and now we have proved it as well. What is non-uniform motion? When the distance travelled by a body at a fixed interval of time is not same. Here, what we saw is every ten minutes the body was travelling five kilometers. But in non-uniform motion, that does not happen. An object would. Non-uniform motion covers unequal distance in the same time interval. आपकी जो object होती है non-uniform motion में वो unequal distance cover करती है same time interval में. Like हर five minutes में पहले five minutes में maybe it travels five kilometers, अगले five minutes में maybe it travels seven kilometers, अगले five minutes में maybe it covers four kilometers. So you see the pattern or the distance travelled in every five minutes is not same. ट्रेन्स, बसेस, कार्स, एरोप्लेन्स, ये सब नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन में चलते हैं बिकॉज अ कार मूविंग ऑन द रोड इज अफेक्टेड बाय सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स फर्स्ट ट्रैफिक देन द वेज और द रोड टाइप ऑफ रोड देर सो मेनी फैक्टर्स व्हाट रेस यू गिव एंड ऑल दैट इन नॉन यूनिफॉर्म मोशन केस द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल बाय एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज नॉट डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू द टाइम सो नॉन यूनिफॉर्म में टाइम uh, जो आपका डिस्टेंस होता है दैट इज नॉट डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल सो यहाँ पे आप स्ट्रेट लाइन अचीव नहीं कर सकते ओके okay? यहाँ पे आपने देखा था स्ट्रेट लाइन आया था यहाँ स्ट्रेट लाइन नहीं आएगा इट विल बी डिफरेंट सो लेट्स डू अन अदर एग्जाम्पल हियर लेट्स टेक इट एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कार कार टेक्स हाउ मच सिक्सटी किलोमीटर्स इन फर्स्ट आवर फिफ्टी फाइव किलोमीटर्स इन सेकेंड आवर 70 kilometers in third hour 50 kilometers in fourth hour uh like you see there is different time but before we do that we can also plot it according to this table so in in every 10 minutes if you see uh, the time taken is 10 then we are taking 30 then we are taking 20 then we are taking uh an interval of 30 then we are again taking an interval of um 30 and the distance traveled here is uh 50 275 340 430 500 we are plotting this against the time time again in x axis distance again in here in this case meters so if you see at 0 it's 0 at uh 100 uh there's little i think it's uh the uh, it's 
uh, it's just an example and we have uh, just uh, plotted any non uniform motion it's not same as the uh, table here it's given so in in first 100 seconds the distance traveled was 10 in 200 seconds the distance traveled was you see 20 5 or 24 or something like that in 300 seconds the distance traveled is 40 uh, or 50 around 50 like that we will be able to plot a graph it will not be a straight line okay now in this example if you see um, the distance covered by the car is 60 kilometers in first hour time is one hour distance is 60 kilometers then 55 kilometers in second hour time is one more hour and the distance is 55 plus 60. Now 70 kilometers in third hour. Time here becomes three hour and distance becomes 60 plus 55 plus 70. And 50 kilometers in fourth hour, you know, time is four hours and distance is 60 plus 55 plus 70 plus 50. Similarly, fifth and sixth hour. So average distance ka for, uh, average speed ka formula we read it. Total distance covered by total time taken. What is the total distance covered? 60 plus 55 plus 70 plus 65 plus 60. So that would be the total distance. Time is 6 hours. Okay. So we just put it in the formula and the time is 360 by 6 is 60 kilometers per hour. So what we read here, speed is equal to the distance covered divided by time taken. Speed is equal to distance by time. What is the unit? meter per second or kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour is for fast moving object and a slow moving object is meter per second. A body in uniform motion covers equal distances in equal time. So non-uniform motion, non-equal distances in same interval of time. A straight line is achieved in uniform motion. A curved line distances, uh, distance time graph indicates a non-uniform motion. So you can get that those questions in exam as well. So let's give uh, one word answers. What is the instrument to know the speed of the vehicle? We read it, speedometer. What is the instrument to know the distance of a distance tra traveled by a vehicle? Yes, odometer. To convert meters per second into kilometers per hour, we multiply the speed with. What do we multiply speed with? We read it, it was there, meters per second to kilometers per hour is 18 by 5. And similarly, in kilometer to meter per second, it's 5 by 18. Change in position with respect to surroundings, what is it called? It's called motion. Okay, that is what we read in the chapter. So have a look at the glossary, average speed, the total distance traveled by a body divided by the total time taken to cover the distance. Average speed is total distance divided by total time. Measurement is comparison of unknown quantity with the known quantity of same kind, right? We read it in the previous lecture. Motion is when body changes its position with respect to its surroundings. So, wo motion may hoti hai. Non uniform motion, non equal distances in same equal interval of time. Simple pendulum, a metallic bob hung with a string, suspended with a string, with fixed support that oscillates in to and fro direction. Metallic bob hota hai, we hang it with a string. Fixed support pay or fixed position pay and it oscillates to and fro. Speed kya hota hai? Distance covered by a body in a un in unit time. What is uniform motion? It is it is equal uh, uh, distance in equal time, right? Equal interval of time. It will give us straight line of graph. Choose the correct answer. Which of the following tells the correct relation between speed and distance and time? What is the formula of speed? Is distance divided by time. So it would be B. Which of the following example does not show periodic motion? Motion of a butterfly, rotation of earth, 
hands of a clock, strings of a sitar. What is the periodic motion? We have read about the periodic motion. Hands of a clock are periodic motion. Strings of sitar are also periodic motion. Rotation of earth also happens. A similar thing happens over a period of time. So here motion of a butterfly is not periodic motion. All right. Thank you so much.